Tunisian and it's a hookah funny looking one so it's long there's longer ones there's thicker thinner whatever you want but it's a hook on one side and it's uh, it has this thing on the other so your stitches don't go away so we're going to make our slip stitch right there slip knot and I am going to make only let's say 10 so one very loose two three four five six seven eight nine ten chains so now I have my one there I will go and pick up the top of the next one and it's going to stay there I will pick up the next one it is staying there pick up the next and pick up the next and pick up the next so I should have 10 here this is so neat you it it is called also uh, Afghan stitch so two four six eight ten yay okay so now I have my ten in there to start yarn over and take off only one you're holding on to this here I'm sorry about my bandage I have a boo-boo there so yarn over and take two off yarn over and take that one and the next one yarn over and take that one and the next one yarn over take that one and the next 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 and two more and there we go now this one doesn't count because this one here counts and it's already on my hook so this one this one belongs to this one so now I go to the next one which is the second one up because I already have one there so that's two and pick up and that's three and pick up and that's four and five you pick up the ones that are going up the vertical ones these so the next one standing up there and the next one standing up and the next one standing up the next one standing up and the next one standing up so now I have two four six eight ten and again we do the same thing yarn over and take only one off yarn over and take that one and the next yarn over and take that one and the next yarn over take that one and the next and you do that the whole row very nice you can make panels of this in different colors if you wish and then you sew them together and you make an afghan and you can there are some that are very very large very long and you can fit a lot of stitches in there so a lot of people do afghans with this stitch very nice so now that one comes from this one which is the first one so we go to the next one that's standing up the vertical ones two so now I have my ten stitches there yarn over take one off yarn over take two off yarn over take two off you put it flat there so that you can see what it looks like 
there you have it that's the way it looks of course that's the, those are the ones that you pick up for the next row and whenever you want to finish it you cut it you pass your yarn through there and you're done that's it